what you need but you didn't know that you need for the holidays. It's a simple view that is meant to highlight a few affordable items that will help you out. These things are often forgotten by many because, well, that's how life works. This video includes two SD cards, a few cables for your smartphone and mobile devices, step up and step down rings for your camera lens and a lens cleaning kit, and a tool used to open the packaging because why not. Talking of tools, I've decided to do just like how everyone unboxes their stuff on the internet and got this highly specialized and yet overly retractable knife because why not? We start with two SD cards made by Silicon Power, the Elite R and the Superior Pro models, both with a storage capacity of 64GB but with different speeds. These are full SD cards, not micro SD cards with adapters, keep that in mind. Now if I go to another high profile event and see a camera that is worth more than all the cars in the parking lot combined using the cheapest SD cards on the market, well let's just say that I might feel the need to express some rage. The quality of SD cards matters a lot, especially with expensive cameras and with important events or holidays. With SD cards it's more important to be reliable than to have speed. That's what people often forget, because you can do what you want, but if your cheap SD card fails, your content is gone, and sometimes those photos and videos are totally irreplaceable. In terms of speeds, both SD cards are close but one is not like the other. The Superior Pro gets a bit more real-world speed, at around 25 megabytes per second, while the Elite R starts off good with a speed of 42 megabytes per second but slows down to around 24 to 25 megabytes per second. The difference between the two is that the Superior R maintains its speed throughout the entire file copy task, which is great especially for those large video files that need to be transferred. I could go on about the technical stuff regarding these SD cards, but really, there is no point, especially not in such a chill video. The point is, get yourself some good quality SD cards that will last you a long time and save you from a massive headache. I got these two as they are balanced in terms of price and performance. One thing to remember with SD cards, not only these, but all of them really, the SD cards in general are packaged in these small plastic cases. And don't just throw them away. It's quite useful and will protect the SD cards from... As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by um fate, please keep these small plastic cases for your SD cards. They don't take that much space and can save your files and will protect your SD cards from a lot of stuff. We continue with a bunch of cables, also made by Silicon Power. These are made for various of devices and smartphones. What I have here are two types, one that has a USB Type-C connector and the other one that has a micro USB connector. One is grey and the other is a light pink. Why pink? Well, why not? What I like about these cables from the get-go is the way they are made. The boost link cables are covered by a thick and quite good feeling nylon sleeving. In fact, this sleeving is advertised to contain 32 different strands of nylon which are braided twice over the existing cable which is PVC covered. In addition, the endings of these cables are reinforced to prevent any bending and kinks which of course usually leads to a rupture in the sleeving and the cables. With these, you'll need a lot more force to damage them, which is great, especially since a lot of these cables end up in your bag and will get pressed and bumped by other stuff. And that's about it really. They are just cables that are robust, will resist steering and sharp bends, and look great. Also, they are still flexible enough to work with and not be annoying when you want to charge your device. I've already replaced my main data and charging cable with these, and that's why they made it into this video. And now we have these. No, it's not a lens, they are called a step down and step up rings for camera lenses. The idea is simple, you have a lens which accepts filters with a dimension of 52mm, but you also have a good ND filter, but it's a 58mm filter. So what do you do? These are present here in this video because I keep hearing the same excuse over and over that people don't get filters to protect and get better photos because they can't just buy a filter for different lenses with different thread sizes. Well, here is your solution in an easy and cheap package, quite literally. It's simple, you get your desired lens, in my case the charismatic Soviet-made Helios 44M4 and place the required step-up ring onto the filter thread. Then you thread the bigger filter you want and that's it. No thrills, nothing to go wrong. These are quite literally just some threaded rings of various sizes that will adapt one thread size to another. Nothing more, nothing less. 
The build quality is great because you can't go wrong with metal. In addition to the quality, these are easy to carry around and are affordable, especially if you get them in a kit with multiple sizes as I've got here. Moving on with a lens cleaning kit. Well, these are called lens cleaning kits, but trust me, cleaning your smartwatch and smartphone with these is a breeze. For the low price of 10 US dollars, you get something that looks like a pen, but isn't. On one side, you have a retractable soft brush, which is good for cleaning tight spaces such as filter trays on the lens or the edges of your smartphone screen. On the other side, you have a soft pad that is designed to be always soft and never dry, and clean any smudges or streaks from your lens or smartphone screen. In fact, this part of the pen is reversible. The other side contains the same soft pad but in a different shape to accommodate those tight corners of the glass or the screen. Finally, you have a microfiber cloth which is good for cleaning everything from lenses, smartphone screens and your eyeglasses. And then you have a typical manual dust blower. This is just a small membrane that will push air at pressure through its plastic tip. It's great for cleaning sensitive devices and components such as camera sensors or the inside of your charging port on your smartphone. Believe me, once you've used this thing on your audio jack and USB Type-C port, you'll never go back to anything else because it's just that easy. And that's it for this video. These are small and affordable items that you should already have, but if you don't, well now you at least know about them and can decide what you want and especially what you need.